Hello, my dear viewers. It is April 3rd, the traditional review of events at the fronts of the Ukrainian war. We also traditionally start near the Sovdivka sector, where our troops continue to conduct a wide front offensive operations from Berdichy to Pervomaisky. And practically everywhere yesterday we had success. The main blow yesterday, our troops attacked. It took a very long time to prepare it. It took a very long time to prepare it with aviation, artillery, in the Berdicha semyonovka area yesterday on our troops, after they cleared a significant part of the enemy's strongholds with fire, managed to break through about one kilometer ahead to occupy a stronghold in the western part of Berdichi. Thus, well, at least according to the data that I have, now Berdichi's opponents in general, there were no forces left. They retreated to the north of Berdichi, the west of Berdichi, but so far our troops have not been able to to clear the entire settlement, to occupy the strongholds along the entire line of the settlement. Nevertheless, such an intention is obvious. So far, everything suggests that we will do this in the near future. There were also very stubborn battles for Semyonovka. Our troops continued to advance from south to north along the only street of this settlement. They advanced a little more, but the enemy, stubbornly resisting, did not allow our troops to link up with those units that attacked Berdichi. While the enemy holds part of Semyonovka, trying to knock us out of the positions we occupied yesterday, it is very serious. The battle continues this morning. Meanwhile, a little further south, our troops, building on the success of previous days, kept moving forward to the village of Umansky. They have reached the outskirts of this settlement, which is located on both sides of the pond, and also managed to finally drive the enemy out of the last houses of the village of Vodianya. And this was also acknowledged by the enemy. And I think that today the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation will account for the liberation of another. Meanwhile, we've been gradually advancing, reaching the enemy's line of defense, covering the highway between Umanskoye and Natailov, because as I explained to him yesterday, it's very undesirable to lose it. That's why the next stubborn line of defense of the enemy is here. Our troops have gradually reached it. I don't think in the next day or two we'll begin assaults from these strongholds. But aviation and artillery are already working on them. That is here. The movement is proceeding on quite a broad front. We really hope for good news from Semyonovka and Berdych. So this direction has been sorted out. No less fierce battles that are largely successful for us are taking place in the Chasiv direction. Yesterday, our attack aircrafts were not only able to take the next landing before the hour of Yar. Now in front of us, in front of our assault groups, there is only one field left to reach the outskirts of this settlement. Our attack aircraft continued to advance and pursue the enemy. And In the Ivanovsk area, they began to climb up a hill that is located to the west of Ivanovsk, another spur of the same large massif, where Chas Aviar stands at the top in the center. At the same time, our troops began attacks in the Bogdanovka area, to the north of Bogdanovka, or rather northwest of Bogdanovka. Our troops are trying to dislodge the enemy from their position and also climb another spur of this very hill to the north of Bogdanovka, meaning that we are now attacking the AVR from three directions at once. Two of these attacks were successful yesterday. We hope our troops continue to move forward to successfully conclude this operation. These are the two main directions, and there is ongoing severe fighting in the Novomihai area against an enemy who, despite his positions being primarily encircled from three sides, does not leave this location. He resolutely tries to resist until our troops manage to evict him from there. In the meantime, our aerospace forces and artillery are working powerfully here, not only here, but also further south, here at well, at least our aviation shows where we can strike before the strikes of our southern troops. Southern Mikhailo Kiev troops are bypassing Buladar, meaning, I believe, a much larger offensive beyond just battles for Novo Mikhailivka, especially since the battles within the geography of the Kiev region's village of victory will need to be included here. No movement here yet, but the likelihood is that they will continue here in the near future. They are present. The next direction is Severskoy. Very fierce fighting continues here. Our troops are trying to at Bilohorivka, our troops are trying to occupy a strategically important hill from which the entire local area for several dozen kilometers around can be seen. Yesterday, another enemy position was captured, but in general, the enemy's resistance here has not yet been broken. 